Today we arrived to this beautiful country, we came full of dreams and expectations. Fast for one year and here I am, looking back at our journey. It's been a roller coaster, learning to fit this new life, this new culture, figure out the Danish way of life and making a home from scratch. This channel in specific is my way of sharing what all of this has been teaching me. About life, about myself and about embracing the unexpected. It has been more than just a story of moving countries. It has been about the struggles, about the tears, but also about the smiles. A lot of smiles. Well, lame cliches aside, let's dive into the video because I really want to share with you some of the things that I've been learning here. One of the things that I quickly realized as soon as we arrived at our new home here in Denmark and which was immediately strange to me was the fact that when a new house is handed over to you there were no chandeliers or any light bulbs installed besides the kitchen balcony. And like in Portugal, from what I gathered this stems from a personal preference that usually landlords leave to the tenant's taste. The second thing I immediately noticed was that the houses here are much warmer than in Portugal. This is because the constructions of the houses here in Denmark are designed to provide better thermal insulation due to the harsher winter compared to the ones that we have in Portugal. It's actually quite amusing because in Portugal winter temperatures rarely drop below 5 degrees. Even at such temperature we often feel quite cold inside the houses, especially in the interior of the country. In Denmark, on the other hand, even when it's freezing outside, it's really easy to walk around indoors in short sleeves. Once we settle down in the country and become more familiar with the city and how things operate here, it was time for me to begin searching for a new job. During this process I have learned an important lesson. Finding job in Denmark, particularly in certain industries, can be very difficult if you don't speak Danish, even if your English is excellent. As a result, the Danish government has implemented policies designed to assist newcomers in the country including immigrants and refugees in learning the Danish language. Next, I can share with you that one of the most important things I have learned in Denmark is the value of trust and social responsibility. Danish society is built on a strong foundation of trust between their people and the government. This trust is actually visible in their social safety nets, healthcare and in the overall sense of security that they provide. And I can actually give you an example. Imagine that you are in a work event and a colleague that has had too much drinks intends to drive home. Someone will intervene and suggest they don't do it or they might call the cops. Another example I can share with you is that if you accidentally leave your wallet on a table at a coffee's outdoor seating area and only remember it after five hours, it's quite likely that your wallet will still be there when you return to retrieve it. However, it's important to note that this don't apply to bites. Living in Denmark has truly made me appreciate the concept that beautiful things can also be highly practical. Danish design is centered around simplicity and it has shown me the significant impact it can have on improving our daily lives, even saving time on cleaning. <laughs> Whether it's a cozy coffee shop with sleek furniture or neighborhoods designing for walking and enjoyment, it is evident that good and minimalist design can enhance our quality of life. Another really important thing I learned while living here, they take their free time very seriously. Danes love to engage in activities they enjoy outside of work, emphasizing the importance of hobbies and relaxation. While I already understood the significance of this, I have also learned a great deal from the Danes about the importance of taking breaks and pursuing activities that brings you joy. It's like recharging your batteries and it significantly contributes to your overall happiness. Well, in summary, my experience here, as you already know, have been a journey of adaptation. When I first arrived, I felt like an outsider. Everything was very different from my home country. However, that doesn't mean it is worst. On the contrary, I discovered many incredible aspects of life in Denmark. Initially, I missed my homeland. I even preferred the more challenging aspects of Portugal. I believe this nostalgia is a normal part of 
any adaptation to a new country. After a year here, I finally feel independent again, something I felt I lost when I arrived due to everything being unfamiliar to me. But I can now carry out my daily tasks without fear of getting lost and I no longer feel the embarrassment of constantly asking for help, which was really common in the beginning of my journey here. This newfound independence is one of the most rewarding things I've gained during my time here in Denmark. I've met wonderful people and I'm beginning to truly feel Denmark as my own home. On a final note, I want to express my gratitude as an immigrant living in Copenhagen for the opportunity to be able to enjoy the high quality of life that Denmark has to offer. I really hope you enjoy learning about my experience in this first year here in Denmark. If you made it this far, please comment down here below with a globe emoji, give it a like to support the channel and of course subscribe please. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!